The following is a Point Pleasant Registry newspaper article from Wednesday, November 16th, 1966. Couple sees man-sized bird, creature, something. It was a bird, or something. It definitely wasn't a flying saucer. Two Point Pleasant couples said today they encountered a man-sized bird-like creature in the TNT area about midnight last night. Sheriff's deputy and city police went to the scene about 2 o'clock this morning, but weren't able to spot anything. But the two young men telling their story this morning were dead serious and asserted they hadn't been drinking. Steve Mallett and Roger Scarberry described the thing as being 6 or 7 feet tall, having a wingspan of 10 feet and red eyes about 2 inches in diameter and 6 inches apart. It was like a man with wings, Mallett said. It wasn't like anything you'd see on TV or in a monster movie. The men and their wives were in Scarberry's car between 11 p.m. and midnight when they spotted the creature near the old power plant adjacent to the old National Guard's army buildings. The creature was seen standing on three occasions and was described as being extremely fast. It flew about 100 miles an hour in flight, but was a clumsy runner. Deputy Miller Halstead said he had seen dust in the vicinity of a coal field, but it could have been caused by the bird, he said. I'm a hard guy to scare, Scarberry said. But last night, I was for getting out of there. They did just that, but the thing followed them. They said it was hovering over their car, apparently gliding, until they reached the National Guard Armory on Route 62. We went downtown, turned around and went back, and there it was again, Mallet said. It seemed to be waiting on us. He said the light gray creature then scurried through a field. It also had flown across the top of the car. It apparently is afraid of light, Mallet reasoned and maybe it thought it was scaring us off. The young men said they saw the creature's eyes, which glowed red, but only when their lights shined on it. And it seemed to want to get away from the lights. They said it looked like a man with wings, but its head was not an outstanding characteristic. Both were slightly pale and tired from their lack of sleep during the night following their harrowing experience. They speculated that the thing was living in a vacant power plant, possibly in one of the huge boilers. There are pigeons in all the other buildings, Mallet said, but not that one. If I had seen it while by myself, I wouldn't have said anything, Scarberry commented, but there were four of us who saw it. They said it didn't resemble a bat in any way, but maybe what you would visualize as an angel. The last time they saw it was at the gate of the C.C. Lewis farm on Route 62. They heard a sound like wings flapping, and they said the bird rose straight up, like a helicopter. This doesn't have an explanation to it, Mallet said. It was an animal, but nothing like I've seen before. Are they going back to look for the creature? Yes, Mallet said, this afternoon and again tonight. Today, Scarberry said, but tonight, I don't know.